Hey everyone, my name is Philip, and welcome to our Ethogram Laboratory. Today we will be teaching you about how scientists use ethograms. If you don't know what an ethogram is, it's a log of an animal's behaviors. Through enough of these, it allows us to know what behavior is normal or abnormal for a particular animal. This can be crucial for trying to preserve particular species. So you're probably wondering how scientists get this information. Well, time to get a little sciencey. Scientists get this information through different forms of what is called sampling. First up, we have focal animal sampling, which is recording all of the actions of a particular animal for a certain period of time, before moving on to another one in the group. Instantaneous sampling is when you record the behavior of an animal in intervals. For example, if you were watching a dog, you would log what it was doing every minute for a few hours. Third is continuous sampling, which is recording all of the activity the animals do while you're watching them. Fourth is scan sampling, which works the same as instantaneous sampling, except it is done with the whole group instead of just a single individual. Fifth is recording specific group behaviors, where an animal does a specific behavior and others follow suit. Finally, there is sequence sampling, which is where you log interactions between different animals. It start and end with the same interaction the two animals had. So, now that all of you are masters at ethograms, it's time to go into the field. We need some help finishing ours, so it would be great if you can help. We took some shots of local bird species, and we need to log their behaviors. This is going to be a test trial to practice your bird scientist minds. Up in the corner, I'll have the species and the time, so you don't need to worry about using a stopwatch. To keep it simple, every 10 seconds you need to log what the bird is doing in that moment. It could be feeding, flying, resting, foraging, calling. So you need to keep your eyes and ears open. Are you ready? Let's get started. Ten seconds have passed. What was the bird doing in that moment? Now, it is important to focus on one single bird if you can, in order to get the most consistent results. However, if the bird leaves the frame, don't worry. Just move on to the next one. You, you could say that they were either foraging or feeding here, since the birds are doing both at this time. Okay? Let's try this again. Alright, what are the birds doing now? Both of them are feeding, so that is what you'll log next. Great job everyone! That was easy, right? The ethogram so far looks like this. I suggest writing something similar to this on a piece of paper, so it is easier to follow along. So now, I'm going to let you all spread your wings, and log the behaviors of these birds on your own. To start, I'll leave you to continue with the house sparrows, and you'll have other cool birds to observe after. Alright? Get out there. 